It was the perfect Colorado day to hit the links, but for many, one of their favorite courses could soon be looking at a drastic change of scenery. And the Park Hill Golf Course in Denver has been a staple for public golf for decades. Yeah, but the course's ownership is thinking about doing something else with that land. The golf course is on Colorado Boulevard between I-70 and MLK Junior Boulevard. Dylan Thomas spoke with some golfers who say losing this course would be a tough thing to take. He's covering Colorado First tonight live from Park Hill Golf Club. Karen, those we spoke with say that the competition at this golf course is great. So they come here upwards of 10 times a month to play their sport. They say the competition is solid, the course is great, and the location is prime. It's the location, just that, that their concern might be going away soon as the Denver market continues to grow. For golfers like Damon Peugeot, Park Hill Golf Course is almost a second home. At least uh, 10 rounds a month. <laughs> A lot. Many call this an iconic course in Denver. Park Hills uh, has been a staple in the Denver community for, for several decades. The location is definitely key. It's a public course which has drawn names like Tiger Woods to increase interest in golf to the Denver community. But for those on the links Friday. Courses in the, in the Denver area are, are becoming uh, kind of scarce. We don't have many city courses now left that we can get to. With the lease on the land coming to an end, the city considered purchasing the course in 2017 for more than 20 million dollars but the deal fell through leaving those who frequent the course hoping the city can find a way to keep the course I just think the city should leave a little open space I'd rather this course this place stay a golf course we, we have enough condos Saturday night the city plans to host a forum where those concerned can express their thoughts on the future of the land those CBS 4 spoke with said they hope the city will stay on course to keep the convenience of playing golf on par with what they're used to. It's just going to make golf more expensive when they, when they keep getting rid of these courses. Today we spoke with the property's ownership who said they're still waiting to hear back from the golf course tenant to hear if they're going to extend their lease or not. Until then, those in the neighborhood are going to be holding a community discussion event tomorrow night. You can head to our website, cbsdenver.com, for more information on how you can participate. Reporting live in Denver, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. All right, Dylan, thank you.